Well, hey, friends, and welcome back to the Creative Shop Talk podcast. I'm your host, Wendy Batten. Today, I might ruffle some feathers because today we're going to talk about actually earning your customers' support, earning their loyalty, and not everybody is doing a very good job at this. So we are going to dive into this today, and you can do a little check and see if you're doing it. I know you think you are, but let's talk about it. Okay, so one of the conversations that I had recently was with my friend Brett Meach. He's the owner of Conifer Shop in Lindenburg, Nova Scotia. Go check him out. It's an amazing shop. have invited him here to the podcast, but he's too shy to join us. So I'm hoping he'll hear this and he'll join us because he's a wealth of information as well. So Brett and I were having coffee and we were having a conversation about shopping local. And I casually mentioned because we're both advocates of supporting local we are both small business owners and just what we do and what we believe and he said I don't think everybody in our town deserves our loyalty deserves us to shop local and I thought about it and he was right (laughs) so I said you know I buy all my holiday the the conversation actually went I said I buy all my holiday gifts as local as I can everything I buy locally. And he said, not everybody deserves that. And I, again, I just, it hit me like, wow, he's so right. And I truly, (laughs) I truly believe that he's right. But I felt like I probably should shop locally. But I don't think I will this year. I will shop locally, just so those of you listening that are local. But I'm not going to shop in the places that don't deserve my loyalty or my support or my dollars. We get to vote with our dollars. Customers vote with their dollars, right? So fast forward a couple of weeks later, after my conversation with Brett, I was continuing that same conversation over martinis with a couple of my mastermind members when they were here visiting uh, my town. Our Level Up Mastermind Retreat was here. And the conversation that we were having was exactly that as well. All advocates of supporting local, all advocates of shopping local, we all understand the mission, but also all in agreement that not all shops deserve our dollars. So I want to just, and I know if you're listening to this, you're already in the mindset of running a wonderful shop. So high five to you. But I'm going to share a few things that I think are really important for us to look at. And I'm going to tell you, it starts with stop guilting your customers into feeling like they need to shop local. I am probably going to be banned from the retail coaching world or whatever (laughs) after I share this. But I am so, and I've shared this on the podcast, so it's nothing new, but I am a little bit, I get a little bit frustrated with people that are continuing to say, you know, shop local, you better shop local or buy buy local or buy, buy local, you know, support local, support local. We want to do that. And I'm not saying not to do that in your posts, but this whole just shopping small biz because it's shop small biz week or whatever or making our customers feel guilty for not shopping small business. What we want to do is we want to encourage our clients to shop local. We want them to want to shop in our local shops. We want to do all of the things to invite them in and to make them feel amazing for shopping local. It is about them. It is not about us. So even if you have the best shop in the like the town, you know, and just but just because you're a local small business or you're a family owned or you work really hard or you really care or you know, if you know that you have great products or you know that you have quality ingredients or whatever compared to so and so or whatever compared to the big box, that doesn't give you the right. You haven't earned the right at that stage to tell people that they should shop local. They should come here. They should shop with us. I don't know why they're not shopping with us. I will tell you, (laughs) I hear this a lot. And it is really hard sometimes not to say, well, what are you doing for them? Like, what, what are you doing for them? They don't care. Customers, like they do care. I shouldn't say that. They do care that you are a quality brand and you're a small business. They do care. But that's, it's not about you it's about your customers so let's let's go forward and think about some of the ways and to do a little check-in maybe a little just a little check-in to see if you are earning the right to have your customers support have their local have their loyalty this isn't something that you automatically deserve because you own a small business 
That's what I'm trying to say. Seth Godin famously said, people don't buy goods and services. They buy relations, they buy stories, and they buy magic. Are you providing those things to your clients? They provide, you know, people don't buy goods and services. They buy relations, stories, and magic. Seth Godin said that. I've always loved that quote. So let's check in. Let's just see. Are we doing any of those things? A couple of things that you can do just to make sure that you are earning your customers' support and loyalty. And you know, you know, I think you know if you are, but just a few things that you can do, just a few guidelines is really pay attention to the customer's experience. How are they, like, how are they experiencing your shop? What are you doing to be creative and to be interesting and to be fun or whatever your brand's feeling is? Maybe it's serious or whatever it is of what you sell. What are you doing to make sure that you are creating a little magic in your shop? Because it is about them. How are you making them feel? that You want them to want to come in, right? Do you genuinely welcome clients and like customers in the store is this coming from a genuine place of service not just a sales technique not just like looking at every person that comes across the door I always say comes across the threshold comes in your shop or every click to your website do you look at that as a sale and a metric and a number and oh look on how much money they're going to spend or do you actually look at them and say huh welcome I'm so happy you're here and genuinely serve them I want, like, be honest. We, of course, we want them to buy. Of course, we want them to spend in our shop. Of course, we hope that. But where does the, what's the first instinct? Do you look at your customers as a number or do you look at your customers as a potential person that you can help in your shop? Uh, like, be honest with yourself. And that it's, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. We know we want them to buy, but the energy is different when you actually care about serving them. How does your store make me feel when I come in? Is the environment lovely? Like what, what are you, does it smell good? Does it feel good? What, you know, what are the senses that you're tingling? What is my experience when I come into your shop? Are you paying super attention to that? I will tell you, not everybody's paying attention to that. <laughs> They're like, whatever, grumpy staff, you know, whatever is happening, messy stores, well, I know you're busy. They're busy, you know, services like this and, you know, come on in. I was in a local store. Here's a story of, of a local store here in my area. Walked in on a quite a busy day. There was a festival going on here in our town, actually called a Scarecrow Festival here in the fall. It's a fabulous a community event. Stores were busy. This particular store was busy. I had never been in a new store. Must go visit. Must go visit the local store. Someone's taken a lot of time and energy and paying rent and I understand the mission. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to support this lovely human that started this store. Walk in. Store does not smell good. It does not look good. It's quite messy. And the person behind the desk could not raise her head from her phone. She did not raise her head from the phone. She does not earn my support or my loyalty or like and then she'll be the first one to say, and I don't know if it was the owner. I do not know because there was no conversation that happened. So it just, and I know we have to have standards around training our staff. And are you doing that? What is the experience I have in your store? What is the experience that customers have in your store? That experience has not left me wanting to like go into that store again or tell people about her or tell people about this lovely new store. Guess who will be the first one to say, Customers are just not buying. Things are not good. The economy sucks. Everything's, you know, people are not buying. People are not supporting local. They're going big box. That's what happens. That's what I hear all the time. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to be in a, I'm going to be in retail trouble here. But I want you to really ask yourself if you are serving your clients from a place of service. And if you have standards and procedures and policies in place and training, are you training your staff to do these things? The other thing is, another thing to look at is just reminding yourself, and again, I know a lot of you do this, and if and if you're not doing this, I want you to just remind yourself that you need to be curating really great products and evolving for your customer. It's not about you, it's about your customer. Make it interesting every time I go in. We need to be re-merchandising our store. We need to be like thinking about what they want and what else do they want and how else can I serve them? This is not always the case. We have a lot of stores that just don't evolve. They just don't evolve. So you're not really earning my loyalty. Stop telling me to shop local. 
Stop telling me to come in your shop when you haven't like got anything new. It's like all the same, same, right? Again, hopefully you'll be thinking about this as you're hopefully curating wonderful inventory for your shop. And again, just remember reminding ourselves about our customer's experience. And we, we've done podcasts on the customer experience. If you're in my Retailers Inner Circle program, you know we talk a lot about customer experience. We have shop standards that we love to make sure that we're revisiting because creep sets in, right? Creep meaning we kind of drift off of our intentional plan and now all of a sudden we're like, oh, we haven't cleaned the windows or we haven't done this thing. You know, how clean is your shop? How how, how does it make me feel? Everything, the music, the smell, the service, the products, it's a mix. You need to earn your customer's support and you need to earn their loyalty. I don't know. I'm hoping that this sparks something in you. Maybe it sparks something in your staff. Maybe you can just have a look around and you can have a think about it. But honestly, we need to earn our customer's support. We need to earn their loyalty. We need to earn those sales. So a reminder, the, pot, the, the quote from Seth Godin, people don't buy goods and services. They can buy those anywheres. They buy relations. They buy sto- relations. They buy stories. They buy magic. Are you providing that? Are you earning that keep? Are you earning the fact that we want people to shop local? We still want to mention the shop local. I want to go back to that. It's okay to say that. We're your local, whatever town, go to for whatever. You know, we, we, can, we still want to talk about the fact that we're local and we're independent and we're fabulous and we're amazing and here's why. And we want to like share that and we want to share customer stories and we want to share pictures of the interior of our shop and we want to get excited when people walk in that door and they say, wow, is it ever beautiful in here? And you want to say, wow, thank you. I'm so happy you're here. How can I help you? That's the energy your store needs to have. That's what people are craving. That is where you earn support and local loyalty from your clients. All right, my friends, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it has induced some thoughts for you. I hope that you're not mad at me. So again, our customers do not necessarily just should, should they just shop locally with us. So thank you, my friend, for being here. I hope you have a fabulous week. If you have any comments or thoughts about this podcast, I would love to continue the conversation over on my Instagram account, wendybattenbiz on Instagram. That's where we are. You can also check out all of our services, of course, over at wendybatten.com. And that's where we have, I have my programs. We have our mastermind membership, which is currently open. We have our inner circle retail program, which has all of my programs, including shop standards, including inventory, including customer experience, including sales training. All of that is there for you if you want to join the Inner Circle Retailers Program. That's all there for you. Okay, my friends, have a great week. We're going to see you here, same time, same place next week.